Tonight, preparing for the worst. How a local police department is teaching people what to do in an active shooter situation. This as the Boulder, Colorado community mourns those killed in a grocery store shooting. Tonight, we're hearing from Minnesotans who witnessed the tragedy. And later, a life-saving act. How a surfer turned concern into action after a scary situation in Duluth's Canal Park. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. Two mass shootings in the past week has more Americans asking, what do I do if I find myself in a nightmare scenario? CBS 3's Natalie Grant visited the Superior Police Department today where they're teaching people just that. These incidents don't happen all the time, so when they do happen, it does kind of remind us that these things are you know, a reality of our world. Captain Winterschleit with the Superior Police Department offers training, teaching people what to do in these scary situations. His best advice, run, hide, fight. If you can escape from a situation, do so. Um, that's our first priority. Um, a distant second, if you can't escape, is to find a secure place to hide. And as a last resort, to fight back, if that's uh, what you have to do to save your own life. Over the past several years, Superior Police have offered these classes to both businesses and school districts in the area. However, following recent active shooter situations, they say that they are anticipating an uptick in requests. We did offer a number of classes a couple of years ago, um, and I imagine a number of um, businesses will be looking for a refresher on those. Whether it is a refresher or a first time, Captain Winterschleit says in this day and age, everyone should know what to do in case of an active shooter situation. Even though they are incredibly tragic and we need to do everything we can to reduce them or eliminate them, um, they are incredibly rare. So, you know, I don't want people to live in fear because an incident happened, but certainly keep it on our mind and prepare for it if we have the opportunity to. Yeah. Captain Winterscheidt also says it's important to alert the police if you know of a potentially dangerous situation that could be prevented. Superior Police offer those trainings free of charge to anyone in the community. Well, as the people of Boulder, Colorado, continue to mourn the loss of those killed after a shooting at a supermarket, we're learning two people who witnessed the shooting grew up in Minnesota. For Minnesotans, Brian and Aaron Cruzy, living in Colorado was the dream, and two months ago, they made that happen, but Monday, they were surrounded by tragedy when 10 people were killed at the grocery store right across the street from their home, the store Brian was in. I had my shopping cart full of stuff, and as I was leaving the exit, um, I heard loud explosions. I looked up, and that's when I saw the gunman right in front of me, really, um, in the parking lot, and he was shooting across what I now know was at the other doorway that I didn't exit. It was one of those things where I knew it was bad. The type of rifle he had, I knew that anyone that he was aiming at would probably be dead. Had I left 10 seconds earlier, I probably wouldn't be here today. Brian ran out the back door warning others to leave. One of the other shoppers inside was a University of Colorado freshman from Bemidji. His father, who is an emergency responder, watched as the victims were named and the officer honored. He was in the grocery store. He had some things in his arms. Um, a cop burst in, told him to run. I don't know if that's the police officer that got killed, but it may have been. Um, either way, he saved our son's life. Police say the suspect, Ahmed Alisa, is in custody. If found guilty, he faces 10 counts of murder and could end up in prison for life. A man is behind bars tonight after gunfire in Duluth's East Hillside neighborhood. This was the scene around 5 o'clock tonight outside the Speedway on Central Entrance. According to police, an officer was on surveillance when they saw someone shooting from a vehicle at the intersection of Bayless Street and Pecan Avenue. The car was eventually stopped at the Speedway and the suspect was arrested. No one was hurt. An investigation is ongoing. Well, Dave's here for a first check of the weather. Dave, is that rain, snow mix still lingering around? Doesn't you know, seem to want to leave. It's clustered right now around okay. the head of the lakes, and there's still a vague chance it'll continue popping up here and there overnight as we go towards dawn. 
But I think the, the best or the worst of it, depending on your opinion of precip, is going away. So we're eyeing up the Doppler here, and we can see it indeed fading away, but still clinging to places like the Twin Ports and through northern Douglas County. And again, it could pop back up overnight here for the Iron Ranges, where we're expecting totals to... Oh, if we push them, run maybe two to four inches. The rest of us will trace to an inch or two. It's about the best we're going to get. But, yeah, the trend is for this rain-snow mix to end. Low temps will fall into the 20s for many towns, into the teens farther inland in Minnesota. Then for Thursday, with weaker high pressure taking over, we'll get to a partly sunny sky in the afternoon. Normal high temp this time of year is about 38 degrees. After a long warm spell, we're not going to make it there. We're only going to have 35. That's a trend that could start the weekend. Will it finish it as well? We'll talk about a warm-up coming our way later on, later on here in the newscast. All right, thanks, Dave. Enbridge gave an update tonight on the reconstruction of its Line 3 oil pipeline across northern Minnesota. Project leaders say work is now about 60% complete. Most of the 5,400 workers are about to take a two-month spring break from construction as frost comes out of the ground and road restrictions begin. They will resume work at the start of June. OSHA officials are investigating after a Minnesota Power employee died on the job in Itasca County. Company spokespeople say it happened Tuesday while they were working with electrical equipment at a substation near Bovee. The employee was taken to a hospital in the Twin Cities where they eventually died. Minnesota Power has not named the employee but said the loss is devastating. Well, here's a live look over the city of Duluth where just days after officials announced a new permanent warming center, details are emerging about another project to help the city's homeless population. Lee Stewart, the executive director of CHUM, says the organization is in the process of acquiring the downtown Duluth Inn along West 2nd Street. The sale price is $2.65 million, and CHUM is getting support to purchase the building. Last night, the St. Louis County HRA board voted to put $1 million of their CARES Act money toward the project. The Duluth HRA is also contributing $250,000, and CHUM will contribute $100,000. The apartment itself will offer 45 rooms in total. Two of those rooms will be used for telehealth. Those who move in will have their own room and bathroom. Chum signed a purchase agreement yesterday. Stewart says they are excited to provide Duluth's homeless community with a new housing option. Tonight there will be at Chum probably 70 people and in the warming center there will probably be another 40. So there are 110 that are under our roof anyhow. And to be able to put have 43 of them, uh, you know, plus there's an additional group that is camping, uh, that'll take a big bite out of uh, the daily need that we see. Stewart added, very little renovation will need to be made to the building. She also said there will be rent. Uh, no prices have been set yet, but she says assistance will also be available. With the property closing within the next 60 days, Lee hopes they can start taking applications as soon as possible. Local unions are holding another big food drive at the deck tomorrow. 30-pound boxes of fresh food will be available to anyone free of charge. It will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. Food will be provided through contactless drive through pickup in the deck parking lot. It just was a fulfilling experience, but it also lets you know just how much food insecurity there is in our neighborhood and another reason why we're so happy to be able to step up and help. The event starts at 11.30. Reps anticipate it to last about three hours and advise you to get there early. Essentia Health has added more ways for you to book a vaccine appointment. Anyone who meets their state's eligibility standards can now call to make an appointment or schedule one online via MyChart. That includes both Essentia patients and community members. To call, dial the number 833-494-0836. Again, that's 833-494-0836. That number is also on our website. We have information about how to make a MyChart account on our website as well. Still to come on live local CBS3, a surfer is being honored for his quick action and for saving two lives in Duluth's waters today. Hear from him after the break. High temp today, 40 degrees in Duluth, just a hair warmer than normal. Tomorrow will be a hair cooler than normal. So some towns that did get snow tonight likely will keep it for a little while. 
For how long a while, we'll talk about with our temperature trends right after the break. You're watching the CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vaki, Sports with Kelly Hinson, and Weather with Meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS 3. Local news and local weather here on CBS 3. That's a pretty tight spot. Watch this. Your Buick parks itself. That's so you. Of course you know where we're going. That's so you. Kind of got a success. And a head-up display. They're here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yep. So you. It is. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Get 2700 purchase cash on Encore GX models. Plus, current eligible Buick owners get an additional 750 allowance. Visit your Lake Country Buick dealer. Honey, what are you doing? Carpet's getting a little long. Tripping hazard. It's okay to be a little overprotective. Seriously? After all, it's how we feel about our customers. Western National Insurance. Greg ended up being a fantastic candidate for a partial knee replacement. We have the advantage here at Memorial Medical Center to use uh, Corey, which, which is a robotic platform for doing knee replacement. In Greg's case, the system allows us to go in. We do a 3D mapping of his actual knee. Then we can do a simulated knee replacement where we can change the size of the components, the type of component that we're going to put in. We can change the position of the components in half a millimeter increment and half a degree. It gives us a, a level of input and uh, information that we never had before. March is Women's History Month, and all throughout the month on CBS 3 this morning, we'll be highlighting women in history who have made a difference. So be sure to tune in every morning at 5 a.m. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Let A1 Movers help bridge the gap from your old house to your new home. We have the tools for all of your relocating needs. Big or small, we move them all. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, we help get you where you need to go as safely and efficiently as possible. A1 Movers specializes in making hard work easier, saving you time and your back. To schedule your move, call or visit a1movers.org today. I switched to Chevy. I switched for more room. I switched for my family. For adventure. We love our Chevy. With an impressive lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs, it's no wonder people are switching to Chevy year after year. I'm never switching back. Add another Chevy to your driveway. Get a $3,500 cash allowance on most 2021 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $1,250 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Join us weeknights for Live at 5 as we go around the Northland city by city. Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, let's talk snow totals and rain totals once again. And again, we've needed this precipitation. It's been awfully dry the last several months. This hopefully will help. About a quarter inch today of rain in Hibbing. About a half inch of rain towards Ely and a third in Grand Rapids. Eight tenths for Two Harbors and Duluth. Almost a half inch for Solon Springs. A third towards Hayward. And getting close to an inch in Ashland and more than a half inch for our friends in Ironwood. And that's just the rain, of course. There is a little bit of light snow out there. Snow totals filtering in slowly indicate a lot of Iron Range towns are at the two inch mark. And there's still a chance for two to four overnight for that zone, while the rest of us might get a trace to two inches. Uh, up over the hill in Duluth in the Woodland neighborhood, there is a trace down by the lake, zero. Uh, if anyone's going to get one or two inches of snow, it'll be the snow belt thanks to a little bit of lake influence. Then we'll dry up for a couple of days, and then we could go through this again once we get into Saturday. Current conditions at the airport in Duluth. 32 degrees, 82% for the relative humidity, and we have a north wind going 12 miles per hour. Air pressure still low, 29.79 inches of mercury, but readings on barometers should come up tomorrow as weak higher pressure takes over for Thursday and Friday. Current temps, 28 to 30 in the Upper Peninsula, 29 to 34 here in northwestern Wisconsin, cool point, cool spot, La Pointe. And La Superior, 34 degrees for their current temperature. 32 Cloquet, same deal going on in Hibbing. 27 Silver Bay, 
still 32 for international falls. Lows inland Minnesota could drop into the teens, and I'm expecting about 20s for the rest of our region. So things are cooling down as our low-pressure system starts to depart. And earlier today, of course, it really brought a mixed bag. Snow in Minnesota, rain through Wisconsin, a mix in much of the UP. And, of course, it shifted over time. And now it's fading away and migrating off to the east. And so... As our low-pressure system does that, as I mentioned, weaker high pressure comes in to try to clear the sky. I think it won't be overly successful. I'm thinking partly sunny for Thursday, Friday, but at least it'll be dry. A chance to get a break here and dry out a bit before that next low comes in from the Pacific Northwest. Brings a 40 to 50 percent chance for a mix again on Saturday, which in turn gives way towards sunshine by Sunday and high temperatures that go back up again. If we're in a cool spell here for two days, then we get into the weekend, we'll go back into the 40s. By the work week, we just might crack the 50s once again. So forecast tonight in Minnesota. Range of low temps will be 18 from the Vermilion Range to 27 by the lake. Rain and snow indeed winding down for everybody in the region. Wisconsin, Michigan low temps, 23 to 25 from the UP to Hayward and 22 to 25 from Superior to Cable. For tomorrow in Wisconsin, Michigan, partly sunny sky with high temps 36 to 41. Much closer to normal than we've been for a few weeks. Tomorrow, Minnesota, high temps, low 30s by the lake, close to 40 inland. And now the extended forecast, 30s Thursday, Friday, 40s for the weekend. A rain-snow mix still possible Saturday. Sunshine hits on Sunday, and then the 50s strike, at least for a pair of days, Monday and Tuesday. Thanks, Dave. Well, it's not every day a person is called on to rescue those in danger, but today a Minneapolis man was faced with the call after a day of surfing around Duluth. He's now being recognized for saving two lives. CBS 3's John Cardinelli tells us the story of the rescue and the important lesson learned. And there were huge waves, like I said, a surfer's delight and a, a, a dog and a dog owner's kind of nightmare, I guess. 26-year-old Darby Vokes from Minneapolis happened to be at the right place at the right time. I saw a woman uh, come up to me frantically um, saying that she needed help. The Duluth Fire Department got a call for a dog actually that had gone over the pier and ended up in the water in the uh, actual in the canal. That's when Vokes went into action rescuing a woman named Jennifer's dog and her aide Dominic who went after the animal. Dominic was uh, freaking out, saying, I don't know how to swim, I don't know how to swim, help. I saw him and jumped in and pulled him close to get him to grab onto the ladder. Then, moments later, Vokes jumped back in to save Ellis the dog. And it sat kind of on my legs as I kind of tried to pull myself up, pull up style, uh, while keeping my legs flat, pulled the dog up, and then right when we got over the cement wall, uh, there was Coast Guard and Fire Department running around. Vokes' selfless action is now being recognized by first responders in Duluth. You saved life. You saved a life today. You saved a dog and you saved a person's life. So. Now up for a police partnership award, Vokes is being praised for his actions, but it is the lesson he learned from the rescue that he will carry with him. So I'm really glad that this woman said something. It's kind of check. I'm checking my own heart and trying to remember the importance of looking around to people around us and just being aware of that people are struggling around us, even though th we may feel like we're life's going great for us. Um, that's not always the case for people around us, and um, it was important to, uh, to just get one last wave, and I guess <laughs> I'm glad I did. Vokes and Jennifer exchanged numbers after the rescue, and they plan on staying in touch. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says many communities are unprepared to handle the impact of extreme weather, so they have a proposal hoping to change that. The MPCA state funding proposal would provide almost $3 million in grants for climate resiliency planning. With aging stormwater infrastructure, extreme rain can cause streets to flood, sewer systems to back up into homes and other catastrophic damage. With the money, Minnesota cities, townships and tribal nations can work with consultants to develop a strategy tailored to meet local needs. The proposal needs approval from the state legislature. Still to come, lawmakers in Washington have their eyes on the southern border as a rise in migrant children coming to the U.S. continues. CBS 3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. 
six-year financing has been extended at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale, and you can finance it free for six years. Plus, get free shipping, extended savings with extended financing for six years. Now at Home Furniture. We're working hard to provide you with an improved DTA experience. With the Transit app, see your route in real time, get notifications, plan your trip, and more in one convenient place. And that's just one way we're building a better DTA. Please join us in our efforts to protect people with disabilities and those Minnesotans most vulnerable to COVID-19. Access North has partnered with the Minnesota Department of Health to be a covert community coordinator. Thank you, Access North, for being an advocate and a resource for people with disabilities. Contact Access North Center for Independent Living, your local COVID community coordinator resource for people with disabilities. Let's all work together and we can beat this virus and save lives. Menards has everything you need to improve your water. Remove unwanted sediments, tastes, and odors from your water supply with OmniFilter Whole House Systems. Over 30 styles are now 11% off. After filtering your water, get softer skin and cleaner clothes with a new Morton water softener. Right now, all water softeners are 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Do you think it's time for schools to reopen? We are still talking about the story, and rightfully so. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, save big with a complimentary first month's lease payment on a new 2021 Corolla. To learn more, visit Toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Home Seasonal Concepts is now open with the largest selection of outdoor furniture on sale. Plus, get a free fabric upgrade on custom or special order cushions and slings from Homecrest Outdoor Living and Tropitone. And free no-contact garage drop shipping now at Home Seasonal Concepts. Northwest Outlet is your ARE Truck Topper headquarters. Coming up Thursday on CBS 3 this morning, updates from Enbridge as they continue work on the Line 3 pipeline. And after this messy midweek system, we do end the week on a quieter but cooler note. So wake up with us every morning at 5 a.m. Local news and local weather here on CBS 3. President Biden has announced Vice President Harris will lead the effort with Mexico and the Northern Triangle Nation to tackle a sudden surge of migrants, including women and children, at the southern border. The announcement came as the federal government opened another emergency shelter to deal with the influx. CBS News has learned the Biden administration plans to use the Freeman Expo Center in San Antonio, Texas, to house up to 3,000 unaccompanied migrant children and convert the San Diego Convention Center into a makeshift shelter for 1,400 minors. Senior Biden administration officials and members of Congress visited an emergency facility in Texas today. A number of Republicans have been pressuring the president to visit the border himself to see this situation firsthand. Due to strained capacity at one sector of the border in Texas, Customs and Border Protection has started to release some migrant families without notices to appear in court. Instead, those families are being given instructions to check in with ICE at a later date. Well, it was certainly not the ending that the Grand Rapids Thunderhawks wanted. Coming up, I'll have a full recap from the IRA Civic Center. That's coming up next in sports. Join us weeknights for Live at 5 as we go around the Northland city by city. Winter's best deals are at your local Northland Ford dealer, where you can get up to 5,000 total cash on a new Ford Escape. Warm up behind the wheel of an Explorer with up to 5,000 total cash. Or start up a stylish Edge with up to 6,000 total cash. Save big today on a new Ford SUV featuring available heated front seats and the tech to start your engine right from your phone. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. 
We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving, which comes in handy, no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Funerals can be emotionally devastating for a family to go through. Besides the sorrow, loved ones are left with the high cost of arranging a funeral. Funeral Advantage was formed to help protect your family when they need it most. It pays your loved ones up to $20,000 immediately for funeral and any other expenses. It's a good feeling to know that my family will be taken care of if anything happens to me. Funerals can easily cost $9,000 or more, but government benefits pay only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the rest. It's so easy, just answer a few simple health questions. This is so affordable, even for someone like me who's on a fixed income. If you're 40 to 85, get information on how to protect your family. Funeral Advantage is something we all need. There's no risk or obligation. Call now. Get the facts about how easy it is to protect your family. There's no risk or obligation. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. You got the gear, but do you have the internet to power it? Go full speed. Get extreme internet starting at $19.99 a month for a year. Show your tech some respect and see what it can really do with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig, powerful in-home Wi-Fi, and 99.99% network reliability. Get extreme internet starting at $19.99 a month for a year and get ready to go full speed. Dial 844-EXTREME2. Shop Arrowhead Supply now and get some of our most popular stressless designs for less. Save $500 on a stressless wing recliner in our best-selling Paloma grade leather and up to 20% on select sofas now. Questions about the COVID-19 vaccine? Now there's an information center to provide the details you need. Get local vaccine information and the latest from the CDC. All at CBS3Duluth.com. When it matters most, turn to live local CBS3. Welcome back into Sports it is quiet here at the IRA Civic Center. Earlier tonight, though, it was anything but as two of the best high school hockey teams in the state of Minnesota met on this ice and battled it out. Let's go to the highlights. We'll pick it up in the first period. Thunderhawks putting shots on goal as they take on Andover in the Section 7-8. Double A championship. Joey Del Greco on a breakaway with a chance, but Will Larson bats it away for the Huskies. Huskies needed one guy to show up tonight, and he did. The captain, Garrett Shevsky, rifles in the game's first goal. He'd go on to get two unanswered for the early hat trick. Down 3 nothing, but not out. So here come the Thunderhawks in the second. After going 0-3 on the power play in the first, Brayden Holcomb puts one home. Rapids is finally on the board end. Before the second was up, they get another as Hayden Demers puts this one in off the rebound. With his skate to the back of the net, suddenly it's not all Shifke's game, and the Hawks are only down a goal. We go to the third. Rapids had one more chance with a power play with under 40 to go, but the Huskies would stand tall. Grand Rapids falls in a heartbreaker, 3-2 to two the final. But hey, one heck of a game, one heck of a season. This team has a lot to be proud of. In the Section 7 AA semifinals for girls' high school hoops, Duluth Marshall taking on Pequot Lakes, a rematch of last year's Section Final. Gianna Nipkins had 33 of Duluth Marshall's first half points after trailing by double digits. They held a six-point advantage to open the second, and then they caught fire. Ava Murado, just a seventh grader, folks. She hit five of her first six second-half shots, all of them threes. She finished with 18 points, and then it was back to the regularly scheduled scheduled program. Gianna Nipkins playing in what will be her last home game as a Hilltopper. She was impressive. The future Utah Ute finished with 49 points and helped the toppers put this one away. Duluth Marshall wins big 92 to 75. They advance on the other side of the bracket. Esco held off Crosby Ironton 63-60 in overtime, so the Eskimos will host the Hilltoppers for the section championship on Friday. On the boys' side, it'll be the top two seeds from Section 7A meeting in the finals. Nashua Kiwaton will host Deer River at 6 o'clock on Friday night.
to Pro Hockey Wild, hoping to make it 10 straight at home tonight. Goaltender Cam Talbot coming in 5-0 and at the X tonight in their second straight against the Ducks. First period, Ryan, Ryan Suter had a nose for the goal lately. Puts it in front for Jared Spurgeon, and the Wild take a 1-0 lead. Seconds winding down in the period. Minnesota on the power play, and deja vu. Suter, Rister off the stick of Spurgeon. This one threw all sorts of traffic. The Ducks would respond, but in the second, oh no. Goaltender Ryan Miller loses it. Nico Sturm takes the gift. Wrapped gold. That's the game winner. Make that 10 in a row at the X for the Wild. They win 3-2 to two the final. That is that is going to do it for me here in Grand Rapids. Certainly not the outcome that the Thunderhawks wanted tonight against the Huskies, but they played their hearts out. It was a fun game to witness, and I think this will just light a fire for them for next year. Kristen, I'll send it back to you. And as you mentioned earlier in the day, Kelly, we're seeing sports being played, which is something different than last year. So we'll take what we can get, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. At this time last year, we were, yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. CBS3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. If you're 50 or older, ask your doctor about screening options. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. It's time to welcome the new year with the bath of your dreams. With our Say Goodbye to 2020 sale, we're offering 20% off labor, 20% off material, and no interest, no payment, and zero down until 2022. All of our products are backed with the Good Housekeeping seal of approval and a lifetime warranty. For a free estimate, call us today or visit us online at bathplanet.com. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. The big 6% instant rebate is back. Hi, John with Prime Appliance, and yep, that's right, you'll get an additional 6% off in the floor price instantly when you pay at the counter. What could be sweeter? Get this Whirlpool 25 cubic foot black stainless French door refrigerator, regular price $20.99, on sale for $17.99, then get an instant 6% rebate off at the counter. Your final price, $16.90. We'll have our pros deliver and install or take it home today. Prime Appliance, it's the best place to buy your appliances. Make mom or grandma's jewelry new again at Numi Jewelers. Come to our custom design and restyling event April 1st and 2nd. Bring an old ring, pendant, or earrings and design a new piece you will love. True love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. You'll love the road ahead when you drive the 2021 Subaru Impreza. Standard EyeSight Driver Assist technology gives you an extra set of eyes on the road to help keep the journey safe. And the Impreza is a smart choice down the road. The 2021 Impreza. More than a car, it's a Subaru. Lease a new 2021 Subaru Impreza for $219 a month during the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now. Something to say to all our members, new and old. Thanks for choosing you care, giving us more reasons to keep moving forward and doing what we do best, answering questions and helping members make the most of their plan benefits. Because we're simplifiers, decomplicators, and well, figure outers. Call or go online. We're here for you. Hey, we're always around somewhere. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Celebrating 30 years in business in 2021 with 30% off storewide. Downtown Duluth. Well, not your typical resident was found in a Wausau nursing home. Wausau police wrestled with a deer found frantically running around inside a nursing home. The department said a deer crashed through a window and panicked as police approached it. You can see the deer sliding around on broken glass and police trying to calm it down. The deer did suffer a few small cuts, but police were able to safely get it outside. Oh, poor deer. You know I'm an animal lover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like it all ended well in the end. It did, and I don't think we saw it on there, but the deer sprints out the door, so it was good to go once police got it up off that slippery floor. <laughs> yeah. 
as a former custodian who's done floors like that, I know how slippery they can get. Yes. When you maintain them properly and put that shine on them. Well, our <laughs> roadways tonight have a bit of a shine up north from snow coming down. This is a live look at downtown Ely where you can see really just a dusting of snow up there. But there's still a chance for a little more as we go on through tonight. By tomorrow, though, the snow chance will fade away. And weak high pressure comes in to try to clear up the sky. We'll call it partly sunny for Thursday, Friday. Partly sunny and mostly chilly, 35 to 37 for the high temps. Cooler than normal by a hair, but then we start to warm up Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.